Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Aron Incevic and Oskar Negali. This is a game from the Swiss Championship, played in 1931. Incevic had white pieces and he started with d4. Negali played d5. c4. The queen's gambit e6 declined. Knight to c3. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. Knight from b to d7. White to move. c takes on d5. The exchange variation. e takes on d5. If knight takes on d5, then white may play e4. Back to our game. e takes on d5. Bishop to f4. c6. e3. Bishop to e7. Bishop to d3. Castling, rook to c1, rook to e8, Nitsovic castled king side 2, knight to f8, and now knight to e5. The knight is well placed on e5, and naturally Negeli didn't like it, so he played bishop to d6, bishop to g3, queen to e7, white to move, f4, cementing the knight. That is why Nitsovic played bishop to g3. Knight from 6 to d7, intending f6 and kicking the knight back. What is the best move for white in this position? Nitsovic played the best move and that is e4. d takes on e4. Bishop to c4, very clever move. Black to move, knight to e6. If bishop takes on e5, then f takes on e5, and after knight to e6, knight to e4. White stands better. Back to our game. Knight to e6 was played. It is white to move. Spectators were commenting that Nitsovic will surely play knight takes on e4. I think I would play knight takes on e4 too. How about you? But there was a surprise of epic proportions. Nitsovic sacrificed the knight on f7. Kaboom! King takes knight. Let's take it back. What's wrong with queen takes on f7? Then knight takes on e4. And after bishop goes to a safe spot, f5. We do attack. Back to our game. King takes on f7. f5. Knight to f6. Bishop to h4. Pins right, left and center. King to g8. Knight takes on e4. Attacking the pin the knight. Rook to f8. Pawn takes knight. Bishop takes on e6. Knight takes on f6, check. Rook takes on f6. Bishop takes rook. Pawn takes bishop. Is black king going to survive? White to move, what would you do? Nitsovic played this very lovely move. Queen to g4, check. The bishop on e6 is pinned. King to f7. White played the move and black resigned and the move is rook. From f to e1, they jelly resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to f8, rook takes on e6, attacking the queen, queen to g7, offering to trade queens. Rook takes on f6, check. Queen takes rook, rook to f1, pinning the queen, queen takes rook, check, king takes rook. And winning for white is a piece of cake. Unless white is on a diet and doesn't eat cakes. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.